and uh, you know look where he's starting out of three look at that impressive formation on our live stream as they come down to face the starter pre-final action brought to you by you travel vortex mini rock at the kill trap group nationals lights out well already they go very defensive down into turn one hancock prevailing through turn number one to take the race lead away from the one nz of douglas in second well there was nothing in it on that start these young drivers showing that they have got superb racing brains and now they will try and sort themselves out as they run down into paperclip for the first time Bacarus and the all Bacarus getting a little bit toey it's going to cost him a position Bacarus was a little bit early tires were cold he got sideways lucky he didn't do it at this corner because he would have a freight train just zapping past him around the inside Hancock leading up the mountain. Look at them all going defensive down the inside. We've got one cart pops out of the draft. It's not going to work this early. And then that impressive sight. Look at it on the live stream footage there as they run through the sweeper to the switchback. Vortex, Mini Rock, the cream of the crop in New Zealand right here. About to complete lap number one. Hancock's got to be careful not to go wide. Here comes Douglas. The New Zealand champion fires it up the inside to take the race lead. We've got one off. We've got a cart going. Oh, there's three, five carts down there. Well, that was an issue further back, but it could have been Mason Potter, the first one to go in, the 47, who was up in third position. And it's Jacob Douglas defending a title out in front in this pre-final. But look at the North Island champion. He wants it back. He dives to the inside. We've got them going all over the place here through the through the paper clip. Someone's just been muscled off onto the grass. I'll pick up the number for you in a minute. I think it was Bacarus in the 25. Well, Bacarus is dropping back through the field. He's got to compose himself. It looks like he's just a little bit too eager early on in this pre-final. He's got the race pace. He can work his way back up in there as it tightens up once again behind Douglas. Look at Hancock. Hancock in front, Douglas under pressure in second place. It's the 22 of Sebastian Manson. Douglas is gonna have another go at turn number one and Manson fires it up the inside as well. Hancock goes from first to third. Fourth place, the 31 of Thompson. Caden Probst is there as well, who will look to the inside at turn number three now and moves up for fourth place. Oh, they're muscling them around the place. There's a bit of arm waving going on from, he's back there in sixth place. Seventh place, I think, in fact, now for Bacarus. As they again go, oh, contact. We've got carts running up over the back of everybody. We've got one into the fence off the inside of the paper clip. This is brutal. This is uh, Vortex Mini Rock. These youngsters have come to win a championship. There's no question about that. We've got a top six breakaway. As they come on to the back straight, nose to tail. Look at that on the live stream as this field just thunders down. It's Douglas still the leader from Hancock. Hancock's buried right up in the back. Will he make a charge down into turn number one? Hancock's going to fire it up the inside and retake the lead. Douglas is going to get muscled out on the outside of turn one. Now he drops back in for second place. Well, Hancock does not want to follow a national champion. He wants to back up a North Island title and be undisputed number one in Vortex Mini Rock. This top six breakaway, absolutely fighting it out. Seventh place at the moment is the 25 of Hayden Bacarus. Bacarus has just made a couple of slight mistakes early on in this pre-final. It's cost him. He's got the Rock Cup champion right behind him, Logan Manson, then Ben Stewart, Hayden Lines, Bow Hill, Matthew Memory inside the top 12. Up around the top of the circuit. Through that very fast, right, left, right, straight onto the back straight. Look at Douglas now. Absolutely locked together, super glued to the back of the North Island champion. Hancock goes defensive. Douglas has got nowhere to go. Douglas is going to keep coming though. He'll fire it back up the inside at turn number one. How many times does this young man want to lead this pre-final? Third place is the 22 of Manson. Caden Probes is up there in fourth. Fastest on the track. Believe it, oh, there's contact at the top. That will change everything around. And it was Douglas that was the big loser out of that. He's going to drop back to about ninth position. Well, he was briefly leading it on that lap and now finds himself forced further back in through this field. He's got some 
a major amount of work to do now. Some damage recovery for the one in ZWKS car store driver. Talking about that fastest driver, he's in 10th place, Hayden Lines, one minute point nine. Having a look at our mini rock uh, track record, but under it, Hayden Lines has gone under track record. That's how fast the pace is out here as we now pick up, whoa, NI Hancock is gonna get a black and white. 97 is out in front, Ryan Bell. Second place, Caden Probst. Third is Sebastian Manson, Luke Thompson. Hayden Backer is fighting back up into the top five. Has he composed himself now the number 25? We've got about an eight or nine cart freight train. And one of the drivers in amongst that is Hancock, the North Island champion. Where was Douglas on that lap? We're having a look through our field. 14th position, Jacob Douglas. Those black and whites still showing up the top of the mountain there, or is they, are they about to change it and give another one to somebody else? Well, this is why we don't read out our results as official, because we have to wait to find out the outcome of these issues. 41, the number 41 is about to get the black and white as well. That's Alex Crosby, currently 17th. Four laps to go in this pre-final. Here comes Caden Probst, working over Ryan Bell. Probst is going to have a go at race leading. Stunning stuff from these youngsters. First time in the race league now in the pre-final. Look at the way he works that upper body there for young Caden. Making it work. Finding some pace. Sebastian Manson's fastest on the track. He's there in third place in the 22. And Bacarus is back in the race. Back up to fourth place for the number 25. As we have a five-cart freight train in front. They've shrugged off some of those other drivers. 31, Luke Thompson, contact in third and fourth. Well, that might work out for Thompson. Can he find a way through? No, the track is covered by those drivers just in front of them who made some side pod contact. That has allowed our top two to get away. Ryan Bell in front. Caden Probs back to second place. You can see Caden tucking down in behind the wheel. That distinctive black helmet of young Caden as they come off turn 11. Three laps to go as they cross the stripe. Look how defensive Bell is going there. You saw a great picture on the live stream. The Carter's tyre service live stream. Bell in front. Probst in second. 25. Hayden Bacarus in third place. This young man certainly learnt from those early mistakes in this pre-final. That's probably what he needed. He might have had a little bit of nerves happening there in the 25. He knew he was fast, and maybe that's exactly what he wanted. Caden Probst dives to the inside of the paperclip. Here comes Luke Thompson as well. Thompson trying to force the issue down the inside. Can't do it, still in fifth place. Here's a move for second and third. Whoa, Hayden Bacarus forces the issue for second. Bell will go back to third. That has allowed Caden Probes to get about a three cart length gap on the field as they go to the top of the horseshoe. Through the switch back onto the back straight. What pace in a straight line has Bacarus got now? Can he reel in the 48? Two laps to go of a pressure cooker pre-final. If you're not watching this, ladies and gentlemen, you're missing out. Don't just listen to me talk about it. Come and watch it. 48 Caden Probes. About four cart lengths as they run through turn two. Keep an eye on Sebastian Manson, the 22. Luke Thompson's in fourth. Ryan Bell fifth. Ryan Hancock up into the top six. Caden Probst looks back. He's got a bit of a gap. He's in fresh air at the moment as Bacarus has to contend with Sebastian Manson. Down through the paperclip. No one keen enough to dive just yet. Bell went a little bit wide off the paperclip and dropped a couple of cart lengths. They've got to be absolutely clean off the bottom of that turn. That is turn number seven here at the Century Batteries International Raceway. Bacarus trying to chase probes down. Through the switch back. Onto the back straight. Will anybody get a good toe and close up this field? Third place, Manson takes a look back. Last lap, board is out. One lap to go for Vortex Mini Rock, brought to you by you travel and look at Caden Probes go defensive. Bacarus is all over him and it tightens up once again. Manson is there, Luke Thompson's in there, Ryan Bell is there in fifth place, Ben Stewart, brilliant drive for the Wellington man in top six in front of the North Island champion. Whoa, any of these five, Bacarus is going to lead it down the bottom of paperclip. 
Bacchus made a move down there at turn number four. Here comes Caden Proge back up the inside. Thompson, oh, Bacchus! Bacchus is in the bags. You can see him, the animation, banging the steering wheel. It all turned wrong for the 25, and he knows it. Who's going to win this pre-final? Look at him ducking and diving there like a swarm of bees up through that sweeping turn onto the switchback. It's going to be a last chance hero drive down into turn number 11, perhaps. Can Caden Probes bring it home? He goes defensive. Maybe he's gone defensive a little bit too early off that corner as they make the run to the flag. Caden Probst is going to win it. Second place for Sebastian Manson. What a race. What an absolute stunner. Ladies and gentlemen, that's only a pre-final. I'm going to have a heart attack later commentating the final for these youngsters. What a stunner. 48, Caden Probes takes the win by the narrowest of margins. 0.048 was the winning margin over 22, Sebastian Manson. Third place, 31, Luke Thompson. Fourth place, 97, Ryan Bell. Fifth place, 33, Ben Stewart. Sixth place, 35, of Hayden Lines. Seventh place, North Island champion Ryan Hancock. Eighth place, 70, Taylor Payne. Ninth place, he fought back. 1NZ, Jacob Douglas. He's still in the hunt. 10th place, 7, Bo Hill. 11th, number 4, Tom Bewley. 12th was the Rock Cup champion, Logan Manson. 13th place, a guy I didn't even mention once in that race, believe it or not. 21, Louis Sharp. 14th, 71, Mitchell Sparrow. 15th, 32, James Black. Top 16 for the 12th of Matthew Membry. I'm going to head down to the pit and interview our race winner. Luke, you've got plenty to talk about on that race.